Hello everyone! The East Asian countries, particularly China, Japan, and Korea. These countries have been noted for their numerous similarities and commonalities in their art production, artistic traditions, and principles of arts as influenced by their history, beliefs, religion, location, culture, and dynasty. The art concepts of China, Japan, and Korea will be helpful in making your tasks and projects through varied activities provided for you to enhance your skill and deepen your understanding and appreciation about the arts of East Asia. Quarter 2, Lesson 1 Painting in China, Japan, and Korea What are the seven elements of art? First, line. This marks span a distance between two points and can be straight or curved. Next, color. By working with you, value, and intensity, three building blocks of colors, Artists can tap into a wide range of emotions. There's nothing that changes an artwork's emotional impact more than color. Next, shape. The result of closed lines, shape are two-dimensional, flat, and only have height and width. Next, form. When a shape acquires depth and becomes three-dimensional, then it takes on form. Cylinders, pyramids, and spheres are some of the more co common forms, though they can also be amorphous. Next, value. Related to color, value is the lightness and darkness of a color. Next, Space. This element of art can be manipulated based on how an artist places lines, shapes, forms, and color. Last element, texture. Texture is an element of art that also plays to our sense of touch. It defined as a description of the way something feels or looks like it would feel. What do you call the things you are going to paint? In East Asia, the objects or items that are usually put into paintings are called subjects, themes, or motifs. This may be about animals, people, landscapes, and anything about the environment. Did you know that painting started from prehistoric man? He used red ochre and black pigment. Early paintings often showed hunting scenes of man chasing various animals such as horse, rhinoceros, lions, buffaloes, and mammoths. These prehistoric paintings were drawn on the walls of caves, blocks of stone, etc. and found all over the world including China. The history of Eastern painting is as old as the civilization of China. It is historically comparable to Western painting. Eastern countries continued to influence each other's production of arts over the centuries. Painting subjects are themes of China, Japan, and Korea. Chinese painting, subjects or themes. First, flower and birds. Number two, landscapes. Number three, palaces and temples. Number four, human figures. Number five, animals. And number six, bamboo and stones. Japanese painting subjects or themes. Since, from everyday life, 
narrative scenes crowded with figures and details. Koreans painting subjects or themes. 1. Landscape paintings. 2. Minhua, the traditional folk painting. 3. Four gracious plants, plum bl blossom, orchids or wild orchids, and chrysanthemums. Next, bamboo. Last, portrait painting. Characteristics of arts and crafts in specific countries in East Asia. Characteristics, according to Google's dictionary, it is a feature or quality belonging, typically to a person, place, or thing, and serving to identify it. It is also true for the arts and crafts in East Asia. You can easily identify their artworks by their distinct characteristics. Important Aspects in East Asian Painting Number 1. Landscape Painting it was regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. They also consider the three concepts of their arts, earth, heaven, and humankind. Chinese society is basically agricultural. It has always laid great stress on understanding the pattern of nature and living in accordance with it. Oriental artists often created landscapes rather than paintings with the human figure as subjects. Yin Yang Image Number 2. Silk It was often used as the medium to paint a pan, but it was quite expensive. When the hand court Yunush Kai Lun invented the paper in the 1st century AD. It provided not only a cheap and widespread medium for writing, but painting also became more economical. Next, Ideologies The ideologies of, of Confucianism, Taoism, and Buddhism played important roles in East Asian art. Chinese art express the human understanding of the relationship between nature and human. It is evident in the form of painting and landscapes of bamboo, birds, and flowers, etc. This is called the metaphysical, the Taoist aspect of Chinese painting. Si He who was a writer, art historian, and critic in 5th century China established the six principles of Chinese painting. Number one, observe rhythm and movements. Number two, leave spaces for the eyes to rest. Number three, use brush in calligraphy. Number four, use colors correctly. Number 5. Live up to tradition by copying the master's artwork. Number 6. Copy the correct proportion of the objects and nature. Korean Paintings History It dates to 108 CE. It has first appeared as an independent form. It is said that until the Joseon Dynasty, the primary influence of Korean paintings were Chinese paintings. However, Korean paintings have subjects such as landscapes, facial features, Buddhist topics. Also, it has an emphasis on celestial observation in keeping with the rapid development of Korean astronomy. Mountain and water are important features in Korean landscape painting. It is a site for building temples and buildings. Landscape painting represents both a portrayal of nature itself 
and a codified illustration of the human view of nature and the world. Among the Chinese people, painting is close.
Kabuki Makeup of Japan Kabuki Makeup or Kesho is already in itself an interpretation of the actor's own role through the medium of facial features. Mukimi Guma or Suji Guma It is an example of face painting. Lines are painted into an actor's face. These lines are then smudged to soften them. Let us discuss the Kabuki Makeup of Japan. Kabuki Makeup or Kesho is already in itself an interpretation of the actor's own role through the medium of the face.